Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me on today. I want to share with you today on why God requires diligence. And this comes by way of something that this was something that I was struggling for a long time. I want to say years. And this was a stronghold that the enemy had in my life. And I want to just share with you, like now being on the other side of, you know, being diligent and, you know, being in a place where I was always procrastinating and lazy and not doing what I needed to get done. I want to share with you, you know, why I believe that it's important that we really know why God requires diligence. And that is for the simple fact is that, you know, God desires the best for your life. He created you a certain way and you have a specific purpose on this earth. And in order for you to fulfill that purpose on the earth, there is certain characteristics that need to be formed in your life. And these are obviously good habits that you create over time. And you know, for myself, I always wanted to be a morning person. I always wanted to get up early. And in fact, not only did I want this, but God had been telling me for a while, you know, he would give me dreams about this, that he, he really wanted me to implement this into my life. And, you know, I would struggle with it because like I would say, yes, you know, Lord, I want to do it. So I would like try one day and then I would fail the other day. And it was honestly just this cycle that it became that, you know, I wasn't really productive as I knew I could have been. So anyways, fast forward to um, just a couple of weeks ago where I received breakthrough in this area and it came as a result of me watching a video and like me knowing this was something that I struggled with and, you know, watching the video, being convicted of it. And as I'm watching this video, all I can think about at this time is, wow, God, you have been incredibly, incredibly patient with me. I then begin to, you know tear up and just really pour out my heart before the Lord and really say before him, Father God, I repent. I repent that I have been choosing my sleep. I have been choosing my pleasure above you, above your plans for my life. You know, and this was something that he was asking me specifically to do because he knows the, the calling that he's placed on my life and he wants to pour into me. And, you know, before not being in that place of, you know, heeding his word and doing it, it really led me to a place of idleness. And so why I wanted to share this with you today was because I believe that it is important for you all to know as well that if there is things in your life that you have been putting off, things that you know that God has called you to start, God has called you to start a specific business, a specific ministry, whatever it may be, you know, it could even be things in your own personal life. Maybe you're a husband, maybe you're a mother, maybe it has something to do with your children, whatever it may be. And for whatever reason, you have been, you know, putting it off. I want to let you know that this is your opportunity. This is your opportunity to start it now, to do it now. You know, there is so much time that I look back in my life that was wasted you know, because I, I chose my own way of doing things, my own, again, pleasure of choosing something else before what God had instructed me to do. And the scriptures say in Proverbs 13, 4, it says, The soul of the sluggard desireth and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. So again, 
we can say we want these things. We can say, but yes, I'm going to start tomorrow and this, this, and that. We need to start today. We need to make a decision today. And I I just pray that you look back at your life and that you also see how God has been patient with you in this area. You know, and in all honesty, there might be fear attached to it. There might be some sort of resistance. And we know, you know, oftentimes that resistance it can also come from ourselves but most of the time that resistance comes from the enemy because the enemy knows once you break through from that particular belief that you know whatever was keeping you back from making that decision from being diligent from from making that commitment he knows the impact that you're gonna make imagine making that impact on the very thing that you know you have been struggling for and how God can really use you in this area he can really expand you and he can really bless you and there's nothing more fulfilling than that you know it's been for myself a couple of weeks since I you know repented and I really said I'm going all in with this you know I'm gonna you know do what I need to do Lord and honestly, it has been so amazing. The, the extra time, you know, that has resulted in me waking up super early. But not only that is hearing God, spending time with him more than I ever have before. And it has been such a blessing to my life. And, you know, I really wanted to share that all with you because I know that, you know, I wasn't the only one. And I know that, Again, there's things in life that we won't always feel like doing. And this is why the Bible says that the righteous shall live by faith. You know, we walk by faith and not by sight. We don't walk according to our feelings. There's going to be so many times in our lives where we just don't feel like doing these things for, you know, whatever reason. But we are not like the people in the world that the people in the world, they live by according to how they feel. And I won't say that's all of them, but I want to say a majority of them, you know, live by how they feel. And God has called us to be separate. God has called us to be set apart for him to be doing things with an excellent spirit that everything that we put our hands to, right, that it would prosper, And when it prospers, we're going to give God all the glory because at the end of the day, it was him that gave us the ability to be able to do these very things in your life. So I hope that this message encouraged you today. And again, it's never too late to start. This is your opportunity to truly say, you know what? Today is a day. Today is the day that I'm going to stop procrastinating. Today is the day that I'm not going to wait anymore. Today is the day that I'm going to repent. Because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to is repentance, is, is having a change of mind that it results in a changed life, that it's no longer just, you know, you're saying it, but you're actually living it and you're going to see the results. Hallelujah. So, Amen. God bless you and I will see you next time.